Hey guys, so since I posted the tour of my couple's camper, I, I got a lot of questions on, uh, you know, this build and, and some of the details involved with it. And uh, I just wanted to go over some questions and answers, some pretty common questions that I get and some questions from, you know, people who, who've actually seen it and, and uh, uh, you know, had some, some questions for me. You know, so instead of trying to answer all of them one by one, I, I thought I'd make a video of some of the more common questions and give you guys the answers for that. So, uh, you know, the, one of the questions is a real easy thing to answer is, uh, can you build me one? No, <laughs> I can't build you one. Uh, I made a lot of videos uh, describing how I built each major item. So hopefully that can help you uh, build your own. Uh, but, you know, this is not my primary job and uh, I just do it for fun. So no, I, I don't have the time to build you one or anything like that. Sorry. How much does it cost? Now, th that's a very complicated uh, question because, you know, I, I don't actually even have a number to give you. I don't keep a receipt of everything that I did. But uh, a lot of the stuff I get for free, you know, I, like I, I go to Craigslist or offer up, and you know, the bed and, and the futon, the, this desk and, and the wood. A, a lot of the stuff, the materials I got, the building materials I got for free. So there's no cost associated with that. But that's not a realistic thing because, you know, even, you know, the cost associated, uh, you, you still have to work. You know, that that's not for free. You have to uh, look around and, and uh, try to find these things. But I made a whole video. If you click up there, uh, breaking down some cost of, of some specific things that I, that I did and some things that are in the car. So that that's a long, complicated uh, answer. And, uh, you know, try clicking that video if you want to see the more details of it. Okay, where do you put your clothes? Okay, so that that's a good question, and and I actually didn't talk about that uh, during my tour uh, video, but I should have. Um, in all my previous builds, I always had a drawer or some space to store my clothes. Okay, they they all had it, uh, and I found that when I go camping, I pack all my clothes in a backpack, and I never ever take my clothes out of that backpack and put it in the drawers. I always keep all my clothes in the backpack and then uh, I just take the backpack and I throw in the front seat when I'm parked and, you know, it's never in the way. So I found that actually works out very well. Um, being able to move all your clothes in a bag and just putting it somewhere that's not in your way is much better than, you know, me, you know, using precious space for storage for the drawers. So that, that's why I don't have any dedicated clothes storage anymore. I used to, but I don't anymore because I just didn't find a need. I mean, I don't live in this car. So, you know, for the most part, I pack my clothes in and I pack it out. Where does the water go? So the water drainage uh, from here and from the bath, it comes down underneath. Let me show you. All right. So underneath, you can see one drainage right there. And the other drain, you can see right there, it's the white one. So anyways, uh, the water just goes straight down. So it's no different than when you're camping and you're washing your hands outside or something like that. Uh, you know, oh, you're taking a shower outside. The, the water just goes into your campground. The, there's no traditional gray water that, that I store or anything like that. So there's no number one or number two that, that drops to the ground. That, that's just an entirely different thing. So uh, I don't have a tank for that and I don't want to drain that. that that's you know something that's supposed to be disposed of properly and not just straight down to the ground. So uh, you know, brushing your teeth, washing your hands, it's just normal like you would do on a campground. What year is your Sienna? So uh, this is uh, an XLE 2011 Sienna. And uh, it used to be my wife's old car. And when she got a new car, um, I, I really wanted to convert this into a, a mini camper. And that's what I did. Uh, so it's not like I, I went out looking for a Sienna and I had the, the purpose of buying a Sienna. It's just we had one and that's what I want to use. And you guys know I like using what I have. I don't want to go out and get something new if, if I already have it. Um, but the, the Toyota works great. It gets great gas mileage. So uh, I'm very happy with it. What about heating and AC? So uh, for AC, I actually have this little device here and it, it works really well. You can click the video if you want to see it, uh, but you just th basically throw in some ice cubes. You turn on the fan, you know, put it towards your face or torso and you can run it um, all night uh, on low speed. You can run it all night, you know, keep you really cool. 
it works surprisingly well. Um, so for the hot nights, that, that might be something you want to consider. Remy, stop whining, please. <laughs> Anyways. Go, go inside. Uh, as far as heating, uh, for me, that's really simple because when it's so cold that I need to heat the car, I just don't go camping. Uh, I don't do well when it's cold. Uh, I don't enjoy myself when it's too cold. So if there's snow in the ground. You're not going to see me camping. But uh, for those that do want to, um, you know, the, the curtains are thermal insulated curtains. Uh, you could get a little Mr. Buddy heater or something like that. But I have tinkered with the idea of having a small uh, toaster oven. And that toaster oven would actually double as a heating source. So I could turn on the oven and, you know, it could warm up this small area pretty fast. Uh, uh, and, and, of course, I could use it as a toaster oven. So I thought about doing that and I just decided not to because I don't think I'll be camping in the cold that often, though I wouldn't mind having a toaster oven. So I actually still might do that just as a fun proof of concept. Can you sleep two non-couples? And, uh, you know, that's that's something my friend asked me when he saw this design. And and because he knows for the most part, my wife is not going to be camping with me. Uh, this is I, I go camping with my sons more, much, much more often. And that's more the common thing. So uh, in that scenario, I have this inflatable mattress, and I showed this in my gadgets uh, video. Uh, but basically, you open it up, put it on the ground right there. It's a it's a thicker air mattress. It's not a, a backpacking air mattress, so it's like this thick. And I just blow it up with that sucker, and then I'll have two beds. One, this guy stays like this, and the other person will sleep on the ground. And maybe the other night, we'll swap or something like that. Can you live full time? I don't see why not. I mean, for me, this is a weekend camper type thing. I have no plans to ever live full time in here. But, you know, people who do want to live in their car full time, I don't see why they can't. Uh, I think it's it's just as capable as, as any, you know, small camper to live in full time and, and not as capable as a sprinter. But that that's a big form factor you know you know parking the sprinter is not easy you can't get into underground garages uh you know the, the gas mileage on the sprinter is not as good as this uh it's hard to be stealth in the sprinter but you know if you do want to live on the streets you know or just go from one campground to the next i don't see why you can't live in this full time and uh, and be pretty comfortable so i mean i think you can i don't plan to do it but i think you could do it is this my last sienna build and yes, this this is my last Sienna build. Does that mean I'm going to not touch it again? No, I mean, I do think there's some improvements that I could make, and I already see some improvements. For instance, I, I plan to make a medicine cabinet right here. I'm going to build a medicine cabinet inside because there's some space right here. So I see little areas of improvement and, you know, a few things here and there uh, that I already see that I, I want to improve. But for the most part, the, the layout is going to be just like this. I'm going to make things a little bit nicer and maybe get some nicer appliance and maybe even build some nicer drawers one day. Um, but I will not be tearing this apart and rebuilding. Uh, that, that's just not something I'm going to do. Uh, so anyways, if you have any more questions, go ahead and leave a comment underneath and I'll try to answer it. Uh, hopefully this answers most of the questions uh, that people have. I've actually already started my Ford Maverick build. So that, that I'm going to be doing in multiple stages, uh, going to be having an easy camper and, you know, level two camper, level three camper. But, uh, you know, I already started doing that and uh, hopefully I could get a video of that pretty soon. But this guy, he's pretty much done. All right. Thanks, guys.